On the back end, another former flame in Brett Kulak, paired up with Cody Cece, and in net, it is Jack Campbell. Oh, but it resulted in no chances for the Edmonton Oilers. It was well played by the defense. Here comes James Hamlin trying a shot. That one deflects wide of the Flames net. Coronado. Lock it out to the neutral zone, and now with 2-1-1, on one, Malcolm Kadri steps in and shoots. He stopped, loose puck, right out in front, and Tanev will take over. It goes wide of the Oilers' net. Now Sharon Govich leaves it for Hubert O. Setters, Osterley walks to the back door and gets a shot off, but is stopped by Campbell. What a great pass. Yeah, another nice save by Jack Campbell. He's been up to the task. He's had three grade A opportunities right in front of him, and so far he's looked like the best oiler out there. Snagged 10 points in 12 games down there in Bakersfield, so he's a guy that knows where the net is. Now a steal by Holloway. Races down the ice. Holloway gets by Hannafin, goes to the backhand, and flips it just wide of Vladar's net. Boy, it's hard to beat Noah Hannafin in a foot race, and Dylan Holloway just did in... A race between number 55s. I think he might have surprised himself a little bit. He was in on the goalie so quick. If he shoots it with good results, like a couple goals here early in, in the exhibition season, that'll make teams pay attention. Here's McKegg trying to pass to the front of the net. Poor goal can't catch up to it. He goes crashing into Vladar's net and knocks it off its moorings. And that'll lead to a stoppage with now 5.36 to play in the opening period. Calgary out shooting Edmonton 10-2. to But there's still no score in this hockey game with now 13 seconds Remaining in the Oilers' penalty to Malone. Races and up the left wing side. Spins and drops to Poirier. Poirier, though, has it chopped off a stick smartly by Holloway. And he's going to race up the right wing side into the flame zone. Holloway drives the net and shoots. And is stopped by Vladar. Well, I don't think there's any doubt that Dylan Holloway has been the most dangerous oiler in this first period. Here he is again trying to center it in front. And his pass goes behind Malone. Give and go with Kajul and Kemp, a one-timer, and a save made by Vladar against Kemp, whose accurate shot had to be speared. And he's another guy, Bob, that I think has gone under the radar a little bit. Much of the discussion is, can Nima Linen potentially steal a job at the start of the season? Phil Kemp, I don't expect him to be on the opening night roster, but he has not hurt his chances from what I've seen. Nima Linen is a left shot, Kemp is a right shot, and that might help him. Up top for the Flames. Shovels it over to Backlund. Cross ice. Hannafin a shot. And that was stopped. Peters got a piece of it. And then came up with the puck himself and launched it the full 200 feet. Vladar to knock it down. This is a Napa penalty kill. They'll send it over to Lindholm, whose goal total dropped from 42 Ooh. to 22. And he was smashed by Marcus Niemelainen. That was a heavy hit on Calgary's, you could say it, arguably best player. I know a lot of people say Huberto, but Lindholm's right there. Anderson Hill hit center ice. Huberto, one timer, Kadri save made Jack Campbell. Rebound Lindholm. Shot, Kadri, save Campbell. Pope checked out in front. Back here, another blocker save this time on Huberto. CC failed to get it out. Lindholm, quick shot, save! Campbell, peppered with pops, but able to make a series of terrific saves. And now it's CC congratulating his goaltender for bailing him out of it. Jack Campbell at the top of his game tonight in Calgary. So, Jack, this whole sequence starts because Borgo over pursues on the PK up the ice and it gave Calgary a four on two, breaking in the Oilers' zone, and they got a couple looks, and then Borgo mishandled the puck. Canceled out at the Calgary line. It's thrust back the other way. Lindholm taken hard against the boards by Nima Line. Second time Nima Line has made contact with Lindholm. Shot poor a score. Campbell, I don't believe, ever saw it. And it might have deflected off a body in front. Warrior will be given credit for now. Well, he had a big offensive season last year, 41 points plus 30 with the Calgary Wranglers, and that was a quick, decisive action from him at the left point. So he wired one through, and there was a net front, and you called it, Jack. I don't think Jack Campbell ever saw the puck, but didn't waste any time. Lindholm was being boxed out in front of goal by Cody Cece, and it's one nothing for Calgary here midway through the second. A dump in. Here's Solovion. He'll turn it over. Holloway the steal. A three on one. Over the line. Right wing. Centers Malone. Back to Holloway. And he just missed the net. Ran out of real estate. It would have been a tough angle, but Holloway did have some open net there. Carter Savoy whipped it around the boards. Cody Ceci. 
Now Derek Ryan. Shoveled back. CeCe. Nima line it. Loads. Fires. And that was tipped wide. Fogel banked it off Ladar and just eluded Savoy on another deflection. Two were able to clear. Up the left hand side, Brad Malone. Stolen away. Codry driving the net. Wrist shot fought off by Campbell. He's been very good tonight in the Oiler Pipes. Poirier could not hold the zone. A steal by Fogel up to Derek Ryan. Reach shot off the rush. And that caught a piece of Ladar on its way by. Here's Nazem Kadri darting down the right-hand side. Open ice. Coronado, but late getting the shot off. And Lavoie flicked it up into the crowd. That was good work by Lavoie locating Coronado's release point. You were in a supine position, though, so Fogel will break in right-hand side. He might have just had a T-shirt. Here's CC centering, tipping it on net. Fogel denied point blank by Dan Vladar. That was maybe the best opportunity for anybody not named Dylan Holloway in this game. Valid F- point. Five on five. It was a real good look from CC. Well, and Fogel has made himself a presence, and Edmonton has numbers coming the other way. Kajula hits the trailer. CC Wade shoots, and that stayed out. Big hop. Flames have got their two best puck moving defensemen, and you know, basically six of their top eight forwards. Good Here's shot. a blast and a save made by Vladar against Rafael Lavoie. I wouldn't bet against Sharon Govich. I uh, maybe scoring 20 goals this year. Zalobi off with a turnover. Fogel breaks in. Breakaway, a backhander off the goalpost. He beat Vladar and once again, a la Holloway. It's Michael Backlund. Sends one drifting over to Poirier. Open man, Dewar clubs one on that save, rebound, score, Backlund. Campbell kicked the rebound out, but it went directly to the Flames' new captain, Michael Backlund, now in his 15th year, and he's made it 2-0 with 2.38 to play. Well, that's going to be all she wrote tonight. Dewar with a good shot. The Oilers couldn't find the rebound, and then Backlund was there, and frankly, an easy look for him to finish it off. So with our score, 2-0, and two and a half minutes to play in the third, I think Jay Woodcroft... Yeah, I think he's challenging for, I believe, interference. And they're taking it off the board already. Now, is Calgary challenging? As there was really no indication until he just announced it at center ice. We actually thought it must have been a Woodcroft challenge. Yep. But instead, taken off the board without the benefit of Jay Woodcroft. Now, what's interesting here is if it is pulled off, like, now, because it's a Calgary challenge, if they lose the challenge, the Oilers get a power play out of this. After video review, the call on the ice stands. We have no goal. Calgary just has the bench by the penalty. There you go. Extra attacker on. It's DeArne, six on four. Here's Fogel inside. What timer scored? We're tied. Dylan Holloway, the equalizer on the power play. And it's one all at the Saddle Dome. Well, he's the most deserved guy tonight. He's been the best Oilers player. No question for Edmonton. And the second best player set it up. Yep. Warren Fogel advances through to Sharon Govich. Huberto, five seconds, gets around Hamlin, a backhander on net. Campbell makes the save. And at the horn, it's over the line. Osterley through Campbell. And that'll be the winner for Calgary, 2-1. to one. Gonna have to take a look here at the time on the clock. No goal. The horn did not go, Bob, but the time it expired. Yep. Send it up the left-hand side for Hannafin. Now Dubé, drop pass Huberto to Dubé. Bouncing puck, corralled right circle, pressure from Malone, the steal, the chip ahead, Griffith, Malone's got a breakaway to win it, backhander score! Brad Malone wins the game for Edmonton, 2-1 to one in overtime! 
Wow.